Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we'll be looking at logo design and we'll be looking at how to create a very simple logo like this using Adobe Illustrator and then doing a few extra things in Photoshop to make it really stand out. Now it's quite easy to do this. This is very simple logo design tricks and we'll be using Adobe Illustrator. So let's uh, dive into Illustrator. So once you're in Illustrator, what you need to do is you will need to draw up some shapes. Now all your shapes can be found in here. If you want to draw a rectangle, you can. If you want to uh, draw an ellipse, a circle, you can as well. Hold shift to make it a uh, proper circle. And if you want to draw a triangle, you can grab the star tool and you can press up and down on your keyboard to change how many points on that polygon. So. The first thing that you need to do is you need to think about which shapes you would like to combine together. I'm going to start off with the circle. So I'm going to draw a circle, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to make sure that my stroke is quite thick. I'm going to change it to maybe 60. So once I have my circle, I then need to think about my next shape that I'm going to actually do. And I'm going to draw a triangle. I'm just going to make the triangle I'm going to keep the stroke the same as well. I'm going to make it 70. And I'm just going to arrange it nicely to where I actually want it. If you want to get into, you know, more fine detail where you can actually um, bring down the size of the triangle to the exact shape of the circle, you can do that by pressing Ctrl Y to get into outline mode. And then you can actually see where everything lines up. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with my design. I'm going to be cutting a strip uh, on this side and on this side of my circle. And that, that's really going to be my logo. So to do that, the first thing you need to do is you need to highlight um, both those uh, shapes. You need to go to path, outline stroke first, and then we need to add an offset path. So if you go to Object, Path, Offset, Path, and now this dialog box pops up. And if I click Preview, it just it makes it a little bit bigger. Now there are some different joins. If you want a round join or if you want a, a beveled join, you can change that. But the offset is how far from the original shape going to actually be offset. So in this case, I don't want it uh, 30 pixels. I'm going to actually bring it down to maybe about 15. Okay, and I can see that it's made it smaller. So now I can see that this line here is the line that I'm going to actually cut out of my shape. Um, you can change the miter limit, all right? And this just changes a few things as well. But you don't really need to touch that. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So once you're happy with your offset, you can press OK, and now you have if I click on it, all these lines on these shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on the first shape and I'm just going to make sure that I've actually clicked on the shape and I want to change the color to white. And so what that does is that that creates a white ring that goes around and I'm going to do that to the triangle as well. So now I've got this you know, nice looking logo with that white strip kind of in there. Now, that white strip is actually really a white strip. You can see here that it still exists. So if I took that to Photoshop, it's not going to look that nice. But what we can do um, to get rid of that is we can highlight all of it. And then we have this um, tool over here, which is called the Shape Builder tool. And basically what you want to do is you want to actually delete all of that stuff that's in there. So to delete things in the shape builder, you hold alt on your keyboard and then you just highlight all the stuff that you actually want to delete. And sometimes this can be a little bit tricky because you've accidentally hit the black side. So you just have to undo that and you'll have to do that again. You can zoom in if you want a better uh, view of um, how to actually fine tune it and get all those little bits and pieces. But yeah, if you leave any pieces, then it's just not going to look good in Photoshop. So make sure that 
you know, you go in there and you get rid of all of them. And you can test it by just um, dragging it up to your uh, to the rest of your artboard. So I can see there that there's no there's no white anymore. So, anyways, so now once you're happy with your design, you know you can always rotate it if you really like. And you know I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to take that into Photoshop. So I've got Photoshop here. I'm just going to open a new document, okay, and I'm going to paste it in. Now, I want to paste it in as a smart object. And now what's cool with this is that I can make it bigger and smaller. And because it's a vector graphic, it's not going to affect uh, the quality. All right. And so once you're happy with um, your logo, then you can add some final touches for it. Now. To be able to get this nice Chrome effect, I went to the internet and I actually downloaded uh, this Chrome effect here, which I'll link in the description. But basically, all I'm doing is I'm copying the layer styles. Now, here they've got the text and the, uh, the layer styles duplicated on two different layers. And so they both do two different things. So that means that I'll need this duplicated. So you can press Control J to duplicate. But then all I have to do is just right click and go to copy layer style and I can paste the layer style on there and then I can do the other one copy layer style and paste layer style there and now I've got that cool chrome effect the last thing that I was going to take was the background because that dark background with that chrome effect I think it looks pretty good and so now I'm just gonna put that background there and there you go alright that is very simple logo design using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time